All right, so with along these crazy events and updates that we got this past week, we also got Fate Simulation 5 for a couple of the PR ships. Now, I think I have enough to max most of these out. I could be wrong, but I have Universal, so if I can't max it out, then it is what it is, fellas. Okay, so it's like 165, I think. I could be wrong. Let me go ahead and double check. Where are my universals? It's somewhere here. Three of them. So let's see if they are available. Not these. Uh, these are okay. So max that out. Max that out. Max that out. What? Oh no no wait you can't do that. Oh 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 no. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I want to max that out. I want to max that out. And I want to max that out. Alright, so that should be enough. So let's go ahead and max these girls out. Fate Simulation 5. So let's go in order. Shimanto is going to be the first one. So max that out right away. Let's see what we got. So at 1, you get 1 luck. 2, you get 2 luck. 3, you get 3 luck. Okay, whatever. It's just this part. So Divine Presence Plus. When the battle starts, this ship gains a level 10 special anti-air gun. Damage is based on skills level. Increases the efficiency of this uh, this ship's first weapon slot by 15% and efficiency slot of her third weapon by 30%. So she is a crazy anti-error. If that's even a word. Crazy, crazy anti-error. Alright. So I think for this part, nothing has really changed. I think the first slot she gains efficiency. The second, third slot she gained efficiency, which is really, really good. Every 10 seconds when she... And when a ship in your fleet fires her anti-air guns, increase your Vanguard's anti-air by 6% stacks up to 3 times. Alright, so I think this was always here. I could be wrong, but so many anti-airs have this nowadays. Um, I don't, did, she, did Shimato have this to begin with? I feel like she didn't. Maybe she did. I feel like that's new. No, I'm like confident that's new. Uh, pretty confident. But whatever though, that's a really good skill to have. When this effect activates three times, activates the following effects, restores 4% of your Vanguard's max HP. That's a lot. The ship in your fleet with the lowest current HP percentage restores 4% of her max HP over 8 seconds. And Shimanto's damage uh, reduction is 18% until the end of the battle. Deploys two shields that can negate up to six enemy shells, as well as two shields that negate up to two enemy torpedoes these last 10 seconds. So it's one of the following, right? No, you get all of them. Oh my god. Okay. If Shimanto wasn't already like the one of the best ships to bring to chapter 15, now she's probably the best ship to bring to chapter 15. This Fate Sim 5 basically turns Chapter 15 even more of a joke. So if you guys haven't watched my video, Shimanto, Guam, and Sila, or even Laffy 2 if you want, just makes Chapter 15 so damn easy. Now, with Shimanto having a healing effect, she takes over the breast roll. It, 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 that's a no-brainer right there. That This buff... That she got for Fate Sim 5 is disgustingly good. I think this is probably like one of the best SSR Fate Sim 5s in the whole game. Like I, I haven't seen anyone get a Fate Sim 5 that turns them from a really good ship to a wow that's disgustingly OP um, buff from just a Fate Sim 5. That's such a good buff to have. She's basically core now. Guam Sila. And Shimanto just rolls everything now. It's just so easy with this Fate Sim 5. That's so, so good. There, there's so much utility, heals, shields, anti-air. Like, oh my god, man. This, this, that, that's disgusting. <laughs> I don't think these other two ships aren't even come close to whatever, whatever uh, Shimanto got. That's, that's disgusting, man. Oh my god. All right, so Felix Schultz, Fate Sim 5. What we got? So one luck, two luck. 3 luck. Honestly, I think they gave up on the second. Usually, Fate Sim 2 gives you some kind of buff, but it's just more luck these days. Now, Tormentor of the Week. 
Um, increase the ship's crit rate by 5%, caps at 15%, and critical damage by 30%. Every 20 seconds fires a level 10 special barrage based on skills level. Increase the ship's damage dealt by 15% to enemies hit by the barrage. If this ship has a light cruiser gun equipped, increase the ship's main gun efficiency by 10%. Reduces activation intervals of this special barrage to 10 or 10 seconds, sorry, and fires this barrage once three seconds after the battle starts. So that's actually really good. That's actually very, very good for just quick sorties. Very powerful right there. I think the changes here are going to be the 15% crit rate, which is a bigger buff to just consistency. 30% crit damage, which is bigger damage. So all my uh. Open world, Wuwa, Genshin Impact gamers, you guys know how crit is these days, it's so terrible. There you go, more crit, it's always good. And she procs, uh, additionally, uh, this part I think as well too, so... Uh, additional procs, 3 seconds after the battle starts. So, early wave of barrage, more crit, can't say no to it. Very good, not as good as Shimanto, but if you guys are a fan of Felix Schultz, this is a very good early rush buff for her to have crit early uh, early barrage wave very very good and lastly flandre let's hope flandre got something good because this ship has so much potential let's see what we got so it's probably the luck simulator yep luck simulator and then last skill is going to be every 20 seconds fires a level 10 special barrage which is based on the skills level when this ship fires her second main gun or yeah the second volley Randomly marks one enemy targeted. This ship deals 12% damage increase to the marked enemy. When that enemy is sunk, Flandre main gun main gun volley will act or her next volley will activate this effect again. So I guess it's like a uh, execution kind of thing. Like she gets damage increase against certain enemies. This is good for mopping, not really good for bossing. She did get a better barrage, I think, so more power barrage is always good. And then, I think her... Oh yeah, this used to be HP marker, didn't it, huh? So now that got taken away, so it's more... It's more consistent now, which is good. So... I feel like nothing much has changed about her. Stronger barrage is nice. The HP removal, uh, the HP limitations was kind of nice as well, too. Uh... But honestly, I feel like her consist I think she does like slightly more damage because the barrage has pretty much it. I don't think she had, like, I don't think she got a game changing uh phase 7 5 like Shimanto did, but it's definitely still very, very good. Uh but yeah, honestly, this banner is basically Shimanto. She got she was already a really, really good ship. They did not have to buff her anymore, and they gave her a disgusting kit for phase sim 5. Guys, if you guys really want an easy time at chapter 15, or chapter 13 even. Shimanto is the way, especially at Fate Sim 5, alright? So, that's my review on F PR6. Shimanto, easily the best one by far, followed by the other two. Yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm out of here. Have a nice day, guys. Peace out.